remember, you know, Malcolm X and Martin Luther King still had a bunch of babies and got married. So people were obviously falling in love. He's extraordinary. You don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. Hi, Eugene. How are you? Hey, Lupe. How are you? I'm great. What a lovely film you created here in Sylvie's Thank Love. Thank you. It's so reminiscent of the romantic dramas, the classic ones. So what were your influences? Um, I mean, everything from the way we were to mahogany to love story, you know, to an, an affair to remember, you know, just all of the classic love, dramatic love stories, you know, we've been kind of used to seeing just uh, romantic comedies. And so I really wanted to bring back that genre of the love story. We haven't seen one since, you know, The Notebook or Love Jones. <laughs> and it's so refreshing because it's the 50s. It's such an innocent time. And that's reflected in the romance, right? You really couldn't do a love story like this in the present. No, but there are also some kind of complicated and modern mm -hmm. uh, themes, I think, you know, that, but it, I I'm able to play with it a little more. And of course, there's the clothes and the music that we all love. Oh, yeah. And add a level of romance to it that you wouldn't really have today. Oh, the wardrobe was just spectacular. I wanted all of Tessa's wardrobe. <laughs> Mr. Assistant's not the best job for a housewife. Why should I hire you? Because I didn't know that a Negro woman television producer even existed. <laughs> and do you take some historical liberties? Because it's kind of a, um, what's the word? Um, it's not your typical, if, when it features black leaves, but it's not what you expect from the 50s, right? Or we haven't seen enough of it. No, I mean, that's exactly it. It's not revisionist history. It's, it's just we, we, when we see films with black people set in the past, it's often framed through our adversity. So we're only dealing with the civil rights movement, but remember, you know, Malcolm X and Martin Luther King still had a bunch of babies and got married. So people were obviously falling in love. You know, so I just wanted to show us depicted from the perspective of our, of our humanity rather than outside events that, you know, that just show us uh, our trauma, you know? Yeah, it's a side we haven't seen at all, you know, uh, framing it in a different way. Yeah, but, you know, Nat King Cole had his own television show and Sidney Poitier was winning Oscars and Sammy Davis was a part of the Rat Pack. You know, I mean, there was a bunch of stuff going on. If you look at pictures of uh, Kennedy, he's got all of these black people performing and hanging out with them in the, in the White House, like the Obamas did, you know, but we, we never really see that. And I really love the music, because in the music, I mean, it was really influential back at the time, right? Yeah, it really was. And it's the soundtrack of, you know, when I was growing up, I mean, it, this music is a little before I was born, but it was certainly being played by my mother and my, and my father as I was growing up in the background. And so, yeah, and I love it. I love the music from that time. It's really kind of thoughtful and it's got these big, you know, we recorded all of the soundtrack with a 55 piece orchestra. So we, we really leaned into making the music as lush as the movie we wanted to make. And uh, props to throwing in a Latina in there, Eva Langoria. And you yeah, never... without a doubt. I mean, we've been kind of, you know, I think those two communities have been kind of like intricately woven into each other. I mean, my wife is Puerto Rican and I have several uh, uh, Latinas and Latinos in my family who, you know, who've married in and been, you know, there's a lot of Afro-Latino people that, you know, you don't get to, you know, Sammy Davis Jr. was, his mother was, was, uh, was she, they say she's Puerto Rican, she's actually Cuban, but oh. that's what I'm saying. It's, it's, it's been around for a long time. Our, our, our cultures have been tied to each other. So I wanted to make sure that that was shown and how long that's been happening. And you have her doing a musical number. I was surprised to see her. I've never <laughs> seen her in, in that <laughs> way. <laughs> was she terrified <laughs> to do it? Was she terrified to do it? No. And you know, she had just had a baby too. Uh, she had just had her baby and she was just like, I'm going to do it. You know, she just got in crazy shape in like two weeks. And oh. my wife is a choreographer who choreographed that. And she just, she really knocked it out the park and she sang it. So we went to the studio and recorded it. Yeah, Eva's, she's fantastic. I mean, she really, 
she really brought that home. And it's such a great scene in the New Year's scene. I love it. It reminds me of those old movies like that. You yeah. Know? And there was no cheating. You can tell it was all her. Usually they cut oh, no. so that you don't see no, something. No, 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 no. It is a million percent her. Yeah, it's a million percent her. It's great. And the guys playing in the background are the guys I used in the studio. So that was great oh, too. Oh, nice. All right. Well, thank you so much. A very lovely film. I was very touched by the time it, it ended. I was like, oh, we've never seen this before. It's so, it's such a nice little, little thing to, to see on the big screen or thank on the little screen in this version. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you. thanks so much. Okay. Right. Happy Thank holidays. Happy holidays. Gracias.